Welcome to Middle TN Hikes and today we're in Montgomery Bell State Park. We're going to take part of the Wildcat Trail to get to the Ore Pit Loop. Or Ore Pit Trail Loop. I'll confirm that later. I started out at the uh, Visitor Center. Came off the parking lot there. There's another trail I'm actually doing that I didn't mention. I'll look it up in a minute. Jim Bailey, I think it was called. <clears throat> but if you take that way, that's a whole lot of uphill real quick. Right out of the gate. I've done nothing but zigzag up a side of a ridge. Anyway, this is a lot bigger park than what uh, I've been reviewing on. And uh, the, the trailheads are a little more spread out. And takes a little bit more planning. A lot more uh, connector trails. Um, this park even has a ten and a half mile trail that can be split into two and it's got shelters on it So you can have a safe place to camp There appears to be a lot of work going on, lots of trees flagged, and uh, I actually have some trails closed for a few months. I'll look all that up and I'll put it in the video. Almost missed it, I'm cruising along the green trail. to look to my right and there's I thought that was just a trail going down to a parking lot but way down there I see a little blue dot I'm looking for the blue trail so I'm gonna go this way there's no signs the green trail that little connect that little downhill trail did drop me off right on the blue trail right where I wanted to be there's no signs so I'm hoping I oriented myself on the map properly here we go. I found my way. Came to a bridge. The blue trail goes that way and this way. And apparently when you get over the bridge it goes that way and that way. And it's not what it says on the map, but it's a little confusing right here. You take the bridge. There's a sign right here at the foot of the bridge that says to the ore pit trail. So we're gonna do it. Here we go. For those of y'all just visiting or watching this way after it was filmed, uh, we just had a solid week and a half of rain, roughly. Um, everything is wet. All the water is high. I originally was going to go do Mechanic Falls right after the rain, but the uh, more I got to thinking about it, that wouldn't be fair to you guys, because what you would see on the video wouldn't be what you saw when you got there, unless you waited for a week and a half of rain. <laughs> The air does get real smoky near the campgrounds, obviously. For the most part, the trail's just dirt. There are roots coming through it every so many feet. And there's some rocks here and there, some little step ups. You are gonna need to watch your step. It does go up some some hills. You are gonna change elevation. I'm already rewarded. This is gorgeous. Another 
intersection uh, where you see the roof over the bench. We're going that way. These older trails really are beautiful. They've been trekked on for so long, they kind of become their own feature. This one, for instance, got these big pits. Some of them are right, right by the trail. Um, they're pretty big, but I guess the trail was so impacted that it didn't erode, so it looks like a bridge going between all of them. It's really cool. Man, hiking with leaves on the ground. It can mess with you. Here we go. If you are hiking during heavy leaf fall, I mean the trees aren't even colored yet. And you can see all the leaves falling. The trail gets covered up. Take your time, find your trail markers or your blaze markers, whatever you want to call them. So we're off the blue trail, and we're on the red trail. Red trail is the ore pit. Um, part of that is also shared with the white trail. The white one's that big trail that goes around the border of the park. becomes a lot more simple. Gives you time to recover from the hike up the hill. The scenery ain't too shabby. Despite there being a rather distinct trail going around the ore pit, um, I don't think it's meant to be a trail. Well, I think people have just made it trying to look at the pit. Trail goes the other way. There's a post right here with one on it. And a red and a white. And we're on the red. There's a lot of big holes around here. <laughs> and to ever threw that water bottle down there, that's not the trash can. If you can tote it in full of water, you can tote it out empty. Keep that in mind. If you're really looking for some solitude, this is a good trail. School's in right now. It's probably gonna rain in a minute because the temperature just drastically dropped all of a sudden. It's kind of nice. All I can hear is the wind blowing. So, so, we moved the bridge. It was there. The sign's pointing that way. But now it's there. We hit a road and a house. I'll go check the cabin out in just a second. I'm gonna check my map while I'm sitting here. Just past the cabin is a little monument type thing that the Presbyterian Church put up. And then there's just a little church. If you walk right past that, there's a little gate and a bathroom. I just checked. The bathroom does stay unlocked. According to this sign, that church is active uh, and has service. There is parking lot here, which is why I wanted to come over here. There is parking. If you just want to start at the church, 
and do the iron, well, the uh, ore pit loop. It's just a little concrete road going back to that little cabin and you'll see the trail right there. Did some reading while I ate lunch and apparently it was iron ore that they extracted up here. Um, Mr. Montgomery Bell himself. There's some deer. You know, I have my comments set to approve because of the nature of this channel. I'm sometimes in the woods and can't tend to things. So I know the internet can have some real meanies on it. So that's why I did that. I'll approve most everything as long as you're nice. Uh, that being said, I'm curious about this cabin. This cabin is not made like most cabins I've seen. So if you're familiar with cabins and log construction, feel free to chime in. Most Tennessee cabins I've seen have the square logs. This has the round logs like you would see over on the west coast combined with the, uh, what do they call it, chinking, chinking between the logs. See, they get, they get pretty close. So, I don't know. If you know something about it, this particular style, feel free to let me know. I might do a little research myself. I've been known to dabble in a little woodworking. resting on the trail. They're kind of casually walking away. That's fine with me. So I get to this covered bench and the sign now all of a sudden calls the trail the Mikado Trail. It's still red so I'm still gonna take it. And kudos on the covered benches. A big gully washer comes. I know I got somewhere to hide. Trail conditions are still the same, although it's getting kind of hard to see this time of year. Um, it's still just a few rocks, a few roots. I know that sun flare is coming through and really messing with us. Let's try this. There, uh, there we go. You know, just a few roots. Kind of pay attention to where you're stepping. But it's nothing where you have to constantly look down and miss out on these beautiful woods. So, <laughs> come on down. Alright, we're joining back up with the Montgomery Bell Trail, which is the white trail. And we're the red trail. I came off the bridge. As you can see, it's feet away from a picnic table. And another one, and another one, and yeah. So Trail Devil is back around. This is the road that takes you to that little church. Here we go. Watch your step. The trail here is very deep. They got boards to kind of keep the washout at bay, but uh, the boards are washing out. It's been a while since I've been here, so I don't know if that's recent damage or what. But uh, until they get it fixed, there's red clay uphill. It stays wet because of how deep it is. And the boards are just kind of strewn about. So, take your time. If you don't like the trails with the underbrush all over the place and it kind of feels like you're trapped and in some kind of maze, Go for the older parks. The um, Long Hunter Day Loop was pretty wide open. And this one, this one's pretty wide open. I mean, you got a very, you can see a long way in here. And it's because it's older. The plants aren't really fighting for sunlight down below because the canopy's just solid. So, 
I don't know. I'm not claustrophobic, but if some of y'all are and some of these dense trails kind of mess with you, come here. It's a nice one. All right, we're done with the ore pit. We're getting back on the wildcat. We'll backtrack to the Jim Bailey, I think it was called, trail, which is green. Once you're on the wildcat trail again, you'll notice pretty quick that the solitude is gone. I hadn't passed anybody, but the campground's right there. So, I mean, you smell generator and you smell wood smoke and you hear all the kids playing and they're having a good time. But uh, this is not the quiet trail. So the trails I did today are all about the hiking. I mean, there's some sites, the ore pits were kind of cool. And the hardwood forest is definitely always cool. Especially the older ones, in my opinion. What is going on? I'm surrounded by thunderstorms and the humidity is curling my mustache. <laughs> 